Welcome to the State of Programs and Progress at Geese Online event tonight. My name is Marcus Phillips and I'll be your host for this hour. I'm an Associate Director of Business Development, working in corporate partnerships and recruitment and admissions for Geese Online programs. We are excited to have all of you join in to learn, what, learn about what Geese Online has been up to in the past year and get a glimpse into what projects and goals are set for the near future. Before I introduce our guest today, I have a few housekeeping items. We'll be listening to an engaging conversation between two members of our leadership team. You will all be muted to avoid background noise and disruptions. If you have questions about our credentials and application process or what is being discussed as we move throughout the conversation, please use the Q&A feature to ask those questions. We will address questions that were submitted in your registration forms during our time together as well. Feel free to engage in the chat feature with general comments and reactions. Now for our special presentation. I would like to introduce two of our incredible leaders within the Geese College of Business that are prepared to have a conversation to share what Geese Online has accomplished in the past year and where we are going in the future. Brooke Elliott is Executive Associate Dean of Academic Programs and Ernst Young Professor in the Geese College of Business at the University of Illinois. She is responsible for providing strategic oversight of the Geese portfolio of academic degree and non-degree programs. This includes undergraduate, residential graduate and online programs, as well as the teaching and learning and student professional development on corporate partnership teams. Prior to this current role, Brooke served as Associate Dean of Online, where she was responsible for the development and execution of GISA's strategy in online education. Brooke has also served as a head of accountancy in GISA, leading one of the most innovative and highly ranked accounting departments in the world. Brooke holds a BS in accounting and an MBA with an accounting focus from the Indiana University Kelly School of Business. She earned her PhD in accounting from the University of Washington and joined the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign as a faculty member in 2003. Brooke is a recognized expert in the accounting field, and her work has been cited in popular press outlets, ranging from Fortune to the Wall Street Journal. She currently serves on the Board of Directors and Audit Committee for Gordon Food Service. Narissa Brown is the Associate Dean of Graduate Programs overseeing GISA's portfolio of online and residential graduate programs. She is a professor of accountancy and holds a Price Waterhouse Coopers and Lakanda Shock Faculty Fellowship. She earned her PhD in accounting at the University of Maryland and her BS and MS degrees in accounting from the University of West Indies in Jamaica. Narissa joined the Geese faculty in 2018 and has also served as academic director of her BS and MS degrees in accounting. She is a nationally recognized expert on financial reporting and has been featured in media outlets such as CNBC, NBC News, and Bloomberg. She teaches financial statement analysis in the IMSA program. I am thrilled to turn the program over to Brooke and Narissa at this time. Thank you, Marcus, for that awesome introduction of Brooke and I. Um, we are both really excited to have pretty much our second annual State of Programs and Progress event. The fact that we're doing it this a second time, we can now say it's annual. <laughs> um, and the purpose of today's presentation is to just give you an overview of everything that we're doing at Geese and also in Geese Online, as well as just talking about really some cool things that we've done in 2023 and some really exciting things that are on the horizon for 2024. To kick us off, we're going to do a pretty cool poll everywhere where I want everyone joining to click on the map and just indicate where you're joining us from. So whether it's a city in the U.S. Um, or a country outside of the U.S., um, if you can just click and you'll see a little icon just pop up, just indicating where you're from. Yes, yeah, so you can just scan the QR code in the corner, um, or there's a web address at the top, just pollev.com slash geese online backslash. All 
Okay, so we see a couple of folks yep. popping up in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Okay, someone joining us from Canada, oh, okay. Australia. Oh, oh, maybe. Oh, okay. Or maybe those are errors. I see the Middle East. Yeah, it's fun to see where everyone joins from. As we'll talk about later, we have a global reach, really, of our program. So we always love to see uh, where where those interested in the program uh, come from. Yeah, and that's one thing that's really exciting, not just only about Geese Online, but kind of where we also draw many of our learners from that join our undergrad programs as well as our on-campus group programs. Um, we are pretty much uh, an institution and a college that serves not only the state of Illinois, but, but the world. And the neat thing about our iDegree programs compared to other online programs that you'll see in the US is that we are one of the few programs that really draw learners globally. Many online programs are still very regionally focused. And so that is a really cool distinctive point of, yeah. of our programs. Okay, so we have, I would say, really good traction from learners joining us from across the U.S. and across the globe. So to kick us off, we are going to start with our geese purpose, and I'll turn it over to Brooke to just kind of walk through um, our purpose and commitments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, thanks, everyone, for joining us. Everything that really unites us here in geese is our purpose statement. And so our purpose is geese business shapes purposeful business leaders through life-changing access to education, research, and innovation. And this grounds everything we do. Um, it, it grounds us in the programs that we're gonna talk about today, uh, our graduate online degree programs. It grounds what we do in the undergraduate space, what we do from a research perspective, um, how we think about connections across our learners, our students, our faculty, our staff, and our alums. And so we're really proud of, of this purpose. Um, from a commitments perspective, we are committed to access, uh, to quality, to innovation, to engagement, and to inclusion. And these commitments are something, again, that we live by. When we make decisions, um, we all share in those commitments, and we let those commitments um, help us to, to ensure that we're providing the type of education, the type of experience, the type of community that we would all like to be a part of. And again, that ranges from our learners to our staff, to our faculty, and to our outstanding alums with over, we have over 70,000 geese alums across the globe. And so we're very proud uh, to live out this purpose and to have those common commitments that drive what we do here in geese. And Narissa, I'll flip it back to you to talk about values. So just to follow up from what Brooke shared with respect to our purpose and our commitments as a college, um, those are overarching tenants that we live true to in GEESE graduate programs broadly, as well as, as GEESE online. And so, you know, one core tenant or value that we make sure that we are always thinking about is making sure that our programs are accessible. And that's really one of the driving focus with respect to our iDegree programs. We have intentionally designed programs that are geared towards making sure that we can touch learners and bring business education to everyone, no matter where they are and no matter their affordability levels. And that's why we're committed to making sure that our programs are affordable as, as well. Um, on top of that, affordability doesn't mean that we're going to skimp on quality. So quality is one of uh, one of our other core tenants in making sure that everything that we deliver is delivered and crafted intentionally for the programs that we offer um, and making sure that we provide great experiences for our learners, both the ones that are here in residence in Champaign-Urbana, as well as all of you in our iDegree programs and, and anyone here who's interested in joining our iDegree programs, making sure that there's experiences and opportunities for us, for you to continually engage with us, no matter where, where you are. So during this presentation, we're gonna to touch on 
some highlights with respect to or experiences that will make sure that you build personal relationships with us, even though you're in a fully online program. And the last value is, is innovation. Um, Geese Online pretty much started as, as a startup, mm -hmm. you would say, in, in 2016. Yeah. Now you would say we're somewhat of a fully mature company, but even though we are somewhat of a mature entity, we are always looking to, to innovate and we're always trying to be forward thinking. And so innovation is something that's going to be woven throughout today's presentation as, as well. So one thing I just want to um, touch on before we really just dive into what's new and what's coming ahead is to just give you a preview of our portfolio and just to emphasize that our portfolio of online degrees as well as residential degrees in the graduate space is fully stackable. So as you can see on the left hand side, we have our three big fully online degrees, the IMBA, the IMSA and the IMSM. And we do have several residential programs um, on campus that draw learners, again, from across the US and, and globally. And we have um, residential programs in accounting, finance, business analytics, um, a one-of-a-kind program in technology management as well. Another thing that we've been launching over the last 18 months is launching a, a suite of graduate certificates that all tie into our fully online programs. Um, we have 13 of those certificates approved and GEESE was the first unit on campus to actually get campus graduate certificates approved at the University of Illinois, which is another distinction of how we as a college push the grain on campus to make sure that we continue to innovate with respect to our portfolio. And then we also accept learners that can take a single course with us. So even if you don't join a certificate or a degree program and you just want to take a course with us to upskill yourself, you can do that as a non-degree learner. Um, also, if you just want to join our programs. Um, maybe you didn't have the best GPA from undergrad. You can join our learners, uh, join our programs in what we call the PAT track, which is a performance admissions track where you do a three pack of courses. The grades that you earn in those courses um, will help you in the admissions process. However, the three courses that you take in that track are fully stackable in in or degrees. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about our certificates um, that we've launched in 2023 and two more that are forthcoming in 2024 and uh, those are open for enrollment shortly. Now I want Brooke to just talk about um, talk about the value of stackability and how stackability ties into or geese purpose and our geese commitments, and also for her to share the history of why we decided to, to, to embark on having a fully stackable yeah. Um, portfolio. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So when we think about stackability, it really is about expanding access to education and recognizing that learners all have their own journey. Um, and you might want to you know, you might not know if you want to pursue, for example, a graduate certificate. You might not know yet if you're ready to pursue a graduate degree. And you may want to do all of those things and you may know it now, but but maybe you don't know the time over which you'll be able to take on that type of responsibility from a learner perspective. And so we wanted to ensure that learners could come and learn with geese and receive credit for what they learned and be able to carry it forward. So perhaps you're ready now to build a new skill set and build a new competency. And so you enter into one of our certificate programs. Um, and then, you know, you want to ensure that you're able to take those skills perhaps back to your current job or, or maybe to, to pursue a new opportunity. Um, and then a little bit down the road after you gain more experience or you see a need for a new skill or, or an opportunity maybe to 
return and continue to invest in yourself through education, you would want to come back and pursue a degree. Well, years later, you can still take that certificate and then stack it into that degree. And so, you know, we really thought it was important to ensure that learners don't lose credit for their investment in themselves through education and that they could continue on a, a journey with a given institution. And so we really believe it fulfills our mission of expanding access to education. And our focus, we take a learner-centric approach in everything that we do. In all of our programs, again, ranging from our undergraduate programs to our graduate programs, both residentially and online, in the way that we think about the learner experience. It's always learner-centric. And so we want to ensure that we're reaching learners where they are and when they are ready to, again, embark on that learning journey. You know, just a, a little bit about the history. When we launched IMBA in 2016, um, we, we were the first institution to partner with Coursera in the degree space. And Coursera has a unique feature in that they had a large and they have an even larger now catalog of MOOC content um, on their platform where MOOC is a massive open online course. And so together we created the first stackable degree in that in every single one of our credit bearing courses, a MOOC is the foundational component, or I like to think about it as the high-end digital textbook. And so if you had completed the MOOC on the Coursera platform as an open content learner, then you could come back and apply and be admitted to the IMBA and we would carry that credit forward, what you had learned and earned credit for from a MOOC perspective. And so we really just took that and then thought, well, it shouldn't just be from MOOC to single course, right? But now we can go fully from a MOOC to a single course, a single course to a graduate certificate, a graduate certificate to a degree, the IMSM or the Masters of Science in Management, and then the Masters of Science in Management to the MBA. And, and that really is differentiated here at GEESE. Um, I know of no other institution that stacks from the MOOC all the way through the offering pipeline to a terminal degree. And, and so I think it's really set us apart. And again, we're most proud because it aligns with our mission and it really is a very learner-centric approach to education. Um, you know, kind of building on that, stack, that stackable model, again, like we've, the latest credential, and Narissa mentioned that this is something that we led in terms of development on campus, a campus graduate certificate, we rolled out th those credentials, those certificates, and um, for all degrees in 22 and 23. And so all 13 certificates are stackable into the IMSM and the IMBA. And so you can start in a cert and then stack that in. Um, you also, and Doris is going to talk about this a little bit later, you have an opportunity to earn certs as you proceed through the degree, which we have found that learners and employers find quite valuable. Um, something else that's new this year is our on-campus degrees also stack into our IMBA. And so you can be a residential graduate student here in Geese, and then you can take credits from that degree and stack it towards the IMBA. And so that's something that we believe, again, really sets us apart and shows the fluidity that exists between the programs in our graduate portfolio. Um, as of right now, we have 110 stacking learners from 18 countries, and we really expect that to grow uh, probably exponentially over the next few years. So, Nerissa, I'll flip it back to you. Yeah, I mean, the great thing is we just launched Stackability in fall of 2022, and so it's just really exciting to see 110 learners that we consider to be stackers joining our portfolio. And by stackability, we mean that if you have earned a credential, um, let's say you've earned either an online credential or an on-campus credential from Geese at any time, you can actually bring that credential to us and we will stack it into the IMBA. And so, um, you know, the learner that you see here depicted is um, a graduate from our MAS program or Masters of Accounting Science program that completed our degree in 2020. And then he came back to us in 2023 mm -hmm. to stack that degree into the IMBA. And so there's no clock out yeah. or timeout in actually bringing your credential to us. And then for our on-campus learners, one thing that we're trying to actually let them realize is 
they're already on the MBA path. You know, by the time that they finish right. their degree, they're halfway through the IMBA program. They're halfway into earning those those credits. So um, really exciting time with respect to stackability. Now, I always like to just peel back the number sometimes and just kind of show or, or growth over time. Um, as many of you have heard about, if you've heard about the history of, of Geese Online, you will know that just like many online programs, we started small. So the first cohort of our IMBA program was 115 learners. And I, I sometimes love to hear this story because when the program opened and um, they had applications and they admitted students, they thought maybe only 30 was, yeah. was gonna join. And then I think they admitted about 150 to try to yield a 30, not knowing that they were gonna yield 115 in the very first cohort. And so at that time, the Geese College decided, gosh, we're onto something here. The, the demand for online education and the demand for, in that, at that time, point in time, an online MBA um, was really something, a pipeline that I guess we probably didn't even yeah. know existed and, and didn't know that um, it would really take off um, at that point in time. And so as you can see here, we have grown tremendously over the last few years, particularly during the pandemic years as well, when um, online education was really in, in high demand. Um, for our enrollments, um, as, or, as the students that we have um, picked up during the pandemic graduate, you, you'll see that we're starting to, to stabilize. But on average, we're still um, bringing in learners at, at still a, a stable rate. So fall of 2023 was our second largest enrollment in Geese Online programs since 2019 um, or since, since 2020, since the pandemic. Um, so that's also a very awesome yeah. um, statistics right there. We're really seeing growth in not only our IMBA program continues to grow, but the IMSM program that was launched in 2020 um, really has grown fourfold um, since that program was launched. And year over year, we've also seen our certificate learners grow four times compared to when we started issuing those credentials um, or opening those credentials for enrollment in, in 2022. So learners are um, really wanting to learn with geese, learn with geese, and then also wanting to join shorter programs. And the neat thing again, if you join a shorter program, let's say a certificate, or the IMSM degree, which is about a year to a year and a half to completion. Again, all of that learning that you're doing is going to stack right into the, the IMBA. Mm -hmm. The neat thing I also just want to point out is the same growth that we're seeing in our online programs is the same continued growth that we continue to see in our on-campus programs. Um, of course, like many on-campus programs across the US, we saw a huge dip in learners um, during the pandemic because of travel issues. Um, a lot of our on-campus programs do serve um, international learners. But as you can see, as of 2023, you would say we are back with respect to numbers compared to prior to the pandemic and he, even higher than when we were yeah, yeah. In, in 2018. So the growth that we're seeing on campus is also a pretty neat thing because usually there's a notion that whenever you launch online degrees or online pr programs, it's going to cannibalize or reduce the interest that you have in your on-campus programs. And that is the total opposite that we're actually seeing. Um, or foray into the online space has actually boosted the reputation of the Geese brand. And that reputation has spilled over into, um, you know, learners' interests into not only joining our programs online, but also joining Geese on campus and actually move into Champagne. So yeah. that's like um, super, super, Cool. Now for Global Reach, I'll kick it back to, to Brooke to just talk about all the learners that we serve globally. 
Yeah, so as we mentioned in the poll everywhere, we do serve learners across the globe. So we have learners in our online programs from over 100 countries, um, and that's really been consistent, and we've seen that consistent growth in terms of global reach uh, since the launch of IMBA, and, and we see that in our IMBA program, the IMSM program, um, and, and also to some extent in the IMSA program. So it's something that we're really proud of. Our courses are structured. There are weekly live sessions, but live session attendance is not required. That content is archived um, within 24 hours so that that content is then accessible. And so, you know, if you can't attend a live session during, uh, you know, a reasonable time window, there's another way to consume that content. And then we also run multiple live sessions. And so we run live sessions typically across multiple time zones to ensure that those learners across the globe that do want to engage in those live sessions have that opportunity. So it's something you know, that, that we really love. And so you can see here 160 countries uh, that we serve, all 50 US states. Um, for our residential programs, we also have great reach. So 73 countries um, in our represented in our on-campus residential programs, and then uh, 41 US states. And you know, something that I always love to share when we talk about the global reach, whenever we have conversations with alums and we ask about the program and what they love most about the program, many times it's this piece. It's that they are able to learn and engage with learners from all over the, the globe. And you know, it, whenever you think about domestic MBA programs, you do have a lot of times very diverse classes, but you'll have learners from very many different places converging together to have a common educational experience. And in our program, our learners are dispersed across the globe having that same type of common educational experience. And so you could be in a group, you know, you could wake up here in Champaign and be in a group with someone from Dubai, right? And they're living and learning um, and working in Dubai. And so the richness that that brings to our course discussions, to group discussions, and just to the overall learning environment is really unmatched. And, you know, that's something I think that we were hopeful for uh, whenever we launched these programs, but it's something I think that has far exceeded our expectations. And we're very proud um, of the fact that our programs provide this type of environment. And then the pretty neat thing, Brooke, is is kind of the new countries that we see yeah. being added to to our portfolio. So um, last February, when Brooke and I just did this same presentation, we were at like 150 countries online. And you would say in the space of a year, we picked up learners yeah. from 10 new countries that we have not seen in in our portfolio. And so, um, you know, that that reach continues to to expand and um, ties into just our overall commitment with respect to, to access. Um, here are just some statistics just showing the many different types of diverse learners that we have touched over the history of, of Geese Online. And again, the standout statistics or the standout information from these numbers that you're seeing is, is the growth. Um, MOOC learners, a year ago, we had touched 3 million MOOC learners um, over our history with respect to learning on the Coursera platform, we're now at 4 million. So, you know, in the in the space of 12 plus months, we've, we've touched an additional 1 million um, MOOC learners. We are also really adding to the alumni base of the Geese College. And so new online alumni that we have produced uh, is now over 6,500. A year ago, that was about 4,300. <laughs> you know, Brooke and I were, you know, kind of chuckling before we started that last year we, you know, graduated close to 2,000 learners yeah. between the IMBA, the IMSM, and, and the IMSA. So, yeah. And many again, of those learners were able to come to campus and participate in one of the ceremonies that we hold in December or May. And so it's, it's amazing to see learners come who have never, ever been on campus, and the first time they're here is to cross the stage. So it's awesome. Yeah, to, to cross the stage. And also, I mean, many of our learners, I, this is the first time you would say they're even learning from like a traditional university and then the notion of actually like coming to campus yeah. um 
seeing all of our or, or different sites on campus participating in sporting events. Um, it's, it's just kind of really awesome, awesome to see. Um, another standout statistics that I'll just statistic that I'll point <laughs> out is is a number of military and veteran learners that we've served in in our online programs. Um, we've we've really seen sometimes cool pictures and heard cool stories of you know military learners actually like joining live sessions or watching videos like while they're at the base yeah. or um you know on planes and stuff like that so so really cool yeah for sure we i think we've had a submariner we've had an admiral and his son in the program at the same time so some outstanding stories yeah yeah um so one of the last things I'll, I'll, I'll just touch on um, before we talk about like really new things is, is our satisfaction rates or satisfaction rates um, continue to be really high both online and on campus. Um, many of our learners would recommend our IMBA program to a friend and that's really where we do see our growth from when it comes to mm -hmm. enrollment. It's that word of mouth um, referral process, um, you know, one in four of or new enrollments are actually coming from from That's word awesome. of mouth um, and that really is a testament to um, just the quality that we have with respect to to our programs um, i just want to also call out our imba satisfaction rate um, again really 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 high along with or placement rates and the fact that you know 56% of or IMBA learners do receive a promotion or a job offer while they're in the program so you don't have to wait until you're finished with the program to to see the benefits mm -hmm. the ROI is actually pretty instantaneous and 23% of them um, see a pay increase during during the IMBA yeah, no, some amazing stats for sure. Okay, so Brooke, do you wanna take us off yeah. into some new things that we did in 2023 and will be seen for 2024? Yeah, 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 for sure. So, I mean, we talked a little bit about graduate certificates, but that's one new thing. And so we've launched 13 graduate certificates. Um, 11 are actually open for enrollment. And so the last two are just making their way through the approval process and you'll see those coming soon. Um, in fall 24, we launched business analytics and mergers and acquisitions. And so those have been extremely popular uh, graduate certificates. And so we're excited to see those come uh, here in just a few months. And so that's just a testament to we're always thinking about not only new offerings, but new content and ensuring that we're providing learners with the skills and competencies that they need to be successful thinking about the future of work. Um, and so that's where we stand from a, a graduate certificate perspective. And then another cool thing that we're doing is taking those credentials that we've created from a certificate mm -hmm. standpoint and actually embedding them into our degree credentials. And so one thing that we're going to be launching pretty soon in spring of 2024 is to allow our current degree learners to earn a graduate certificate while they're pursuing their I degree, whether it's the IMBA, the IMSM, or the IMSA. So all of our graduate certificates tie to courses that are in those degrees. And so many of our certificates um, tie into the MBA specializations or the core areas in, in the IMBA. And for our IMSA program, the certificates that we have crafted also tie to the coursework there as well. And so for the IMBA, we're going to be allowing learners to earn up to two certificates um, while pursuing their degree. Those two certificates will tie to the specialization area of your choice. For IMSM and IMSA, we will allow you to earn one certificate. Those degrees are shorter. They are 36 credit hours. And so we'll allow learners to earn one embedded um, certificate. And that's just our way of continuing to making sure that the ROI for our degree programs continue to be high and continue to serve you as our learners and to serve you as um, prospects who are interested in joining our programs. You know, many times we've heard from 
learners that they're in or degree program, they're being tapped for a promotion within, within their company, but they want to demonstrate that they're on a degree path or they're on the path to get a credential. Yeah. And so this embedded grad cert is a way for you to earn a separate credential, be able to put that on your resume, um, show your company that you're you're earning a graduate credential and and then use that to your benefit as as well. Yeah, and many of our learners are in their employer's tuition reimbursement program and so to have an ability, you know, to show that you're learning as you go and to be able to earn a credential and demonstrate that the investment is worth it, right? Your employer is investing in you and to be able to show that back. I have found that, you know, learners say it's a value and then employers that we've talked to um, have communicated that it's of tremendous value. And, you know, for either current learners or prospects that are interested because of the affordability of our degrees, many employer tuition reimbursement programs either almost fully cover or do fully cover the cost of the degree because the our programs are structured so that you pay as you go. And so you pay for each eight week term. And so you don't most of the time have to pay up front. Um, you can pay as you go and then your employer reimbursement will come through uh, so that you can cover those tuition expenses. And so it's just another part of accessibility and flexibility um, that we believe uh, you know, is really important and is a hallmark of our program. And I think why it's grown um, in the way that it has. And then as always, we continue to innovate by expanding um, the portfolio of offerings we have at, at the course level. So here you'll see three new courses that we've launched over, over the last year. Um, so if you are interested in learning about government and nonprofit accounting, there's now a new course being offered um, in our IMSA program. We also launched an onboarding course for our MBA learners that will help to give kind of a, a cohort feel in joining our online program. And then a really exciting course that's starting in a couple of weeks is a course on disruption and emerging technologies that actually uses AI to develop some of the MOOCs. And I'm going to have Brooke talk a little bit more about this course, and we're going to have a fun exercise for you guys to do related to that. Yeah, so uh, this course was developed by Robert Brunner. He's actually a full professor in accountancy, but he has a PhD in astrophysics. So I'm pretty sure he's the only accountancy professor probably in the world uh, with a PhD in astrophysics. And he was actually in the astronomy department here, and his research was on black holes. Um, so he's an extremely interesting uh, individual, but we attracted him to Geese a while ago because of his expertise with data. And we saw the way that business was moving and we wanted to ensure that our students had the skill set and the data, anal data analytics skill set necessary to succeed. And so, and that was way back in 2015. So Robert uh, taught a few courses for us and then he became uh, a full faculty member uh, within our college. He also is the chief disruption officer and runs our disruption lab uh, where we have students from across campus come together and work on developing disruptive technologies. And so I think, again, it really sets us apart. Um, and so Nerissa is going to show you the, in the promo, the intro for his course using AI technology. So I'm going to play a little bit of, of a video. So this course, about 15% of, of the MOOCs, um, uses a digital avatar or a digital twin of, of Robert that was created using generative AI. And a big shout out to our teaching and learning team that actually worked with Robert to actually get this done. I see uh, Tanya Means is, is on the call as, along with Adam King and, and Steve Pratton from our team and kind of working and actually getting this done. Now the exercise that we're gonna have you do is it's gonna play this. Have you guys decide which is the rubber. The one on the left or the one on the right? So based on you got a little snippet of the different movements between the digital twin and Robert. And so we're going to go back to poll everywhere. So if you go to pollev.com slash geese online, scan the QR code or send a text to geese online um, with the numbers 22333. 
Just answer, which one do you think is the real Robert Brunner? <laughs> okay, so everyone's saying the left. We still have a few coming in. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I love seeing the answers come into this. <laughs> so we have about 18 people who've participated. Mm -hmm. Anyone else wish to jump in and and decide. Okay. I see folks are, are also posting in the chat, the yeah. left one. Okay. The left image looks pretty real, you know, with the blue shirt, you know, the, the, the pin as well. But it's not the real Robert Brunner. <laughs> <laughs> so the image on the right is actually the, the real Robert Brunner. Uh, so this is a fun exercise, but it's also meant to demonstrate that, you know, we are innovative and we're always piloting and embracing new technologies. Um, and, you know, generative AI and our ability to use that to improve the quality of our education, to ensure that our faculty members right, are portrayed in an engaging way and to be able to provide you know, opportunities for our faculty members also to have more time to engage live with you, whether in office hours or in, in, in live sessions. And so you know, you'll be able to see this. We are like, this is something I think that all institutions are working through. Um, we're actually, we're just launching a pilot project where Robert's, you know, this video and this course was the first part of this pilot project. Uh, we're piloting out the new technologies with some of our business online undergraduate courses. Um, I think some of our other iDegrees faculty members are interested in learning about the tool. One thing though that we want to make clear is like we will always make a commitment to our learners that it will be our faculty that will be the highest quality content and we will use this technologies only to improve uh, the quality of your overall experience with us. And we've also talked about we will ensure that you know, we disclose when we are using these types of technologies. And so Nerissa uh, mentioned up front, you know, uh, about 15% of the MOOC based content um, is developed using generative AI. And so we want to ensure that we're also very forthcoming for learners, right? It, this is not, we don't want to be in a place where we're learners feel misinformed, right, or they feel like it's a bait and switch. And so we'll ensure uh, from a learner perspective that we continue to make those same commitments that we always have. But it's it's very, very exciting. So uh, more, more to come there for sure. Yeah, I think the neat thing about the generative AI tool is that it spruced up Robert with a blue shirt. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the exact same shirt from the right side. I know. <laughs> Just added I know. Some, some color to I know. it. I know. Um, so Brooke, you know, mentioned Robert's history or background of uh, being an ast astrophysicist and his um, love of what we were doing here in Geese just kind of really attracted him to, to join in the college mm -hmm. and join in our accounting department. Um, one thing I just also want to highlight is the fact that many units on campus are also coming to Geese to find ways for their learners to actually add business education to, to their degrees. And so what we've created here on campus from an online perspective, as well as some more residential degrees perspective is again, just having really high quality business education and other units on campus just seeing that as um, again, adding value or, mm -hmm. or adding that ROI to the degrees that um, they're offering in, in their unit. So over the last 12 months, we've um, drafted partnerships that we are, some of them have been finalized, some of them are still in the works, where we have um, allow or will allow learners from many of these degrees that are listed here to actually join or business courses, um, either fully online or on campus. And so if you join any of our I degrees, not only will you be joining a diverse set of learners from different countries, um, different industries, um, different career titles, but you also be joining programs where you'll be on a group where you may have a learner that's completed a mas completing a master's in, in smart mobility or a learner in or vet med college who's completing a master's in veterinary sciences but they are still looking for business education because they're running their own um, 
you know, vet professional offices and still need to learn business skills on how to manage staff and how to manage finances, um, et cetera. On top of that, we're also crafting out two really cool partnerships with um, colleges on, on campus. And the, the first one that I'll just have Brooke talk about is a new partnership with the College of, of ACES and how that will tie into our IMBA yeah. degree. So if you can share, Brooke, you know, one of the questions that we got submitted to us is, what are some new specializations yeah. <laughs> that we plan to add to the IMBA? Yeah. So I think this is a good segue to answering that question. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, yeah, this is one. So we're partnering with the College of ACES here on campus. Um, the specialization will be agribusiness and sustainable food production. Um, it will be a campus graduate certificate, and so you can enroll in it as a certificate learner. If you're an IMBA student, you'll also be able to enroll in the CERT and earn it as you complete the IMBA program. And so you can pursue it as a specialization. Um, and so this is, a, I think, a great example of a partnership, and we really see value in these types of partnerships because it allows us, one, to expand access to education and so to reach learners perhaps that we're not currently reaching, but then it allows us to be very innovative from a curricular perspective. And so again, we're always thinking about curricular innovation and expanding the content that we're providing uh, to learners in enrolled in our programs. Another really exciting example is there is a, a pretty new College of Medicine on our campus, and it's an engineering focused College of Medicine here. And so um, there's some really cool stuff that happens. And this is another college that we're partnering with. And so right now we're working on a healthcare innovation design and entrepreneurship certificate. Um, this is a collaboration between Geese, the Carl Illinois College of Medicine, the Siebel Center for Design, and also the Mayo Clinic. And so I'm, this is the first of a kind collaboration and certificate. We've never developed a certificate with this many collaborators and bringing in the professional component. Um, we've heard from learners almost since the inception of our program that they would love healthcare and innovation content. And so we're finally going to be able to bring that to you. And so the agribusiness certificate should launch in fall of 24. This one is still in development and should really be open, I believe, for enrollment in spring 25 or at the latest fall of 25. So I think two exciting partnerships and also two exciting new curricular innovations. Um, and I just want to give a, a shout out to um, Amanda Brantner, who's who's working to um, move these two partnerships along, as well as Gary Hecht. We have an associate dean of professional education pathways, which is also yeah. a one of a kind role it here is. here in Geese. And so, really thank them for for really cultivating and nurturing those two partnerships. Now, I know we do have to get to questions, but we want to just touch a little bit on building for the future, what we're doing in undergrad, we'll touch on experiences, and then we're going to take some questions from, from the audience. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I'll talk just really briefly about um, ex this, you know, theme of expanding access to education. And so one thing I did want to share out is we really do believe in this mission and everything that we've learned in the online space and the value that we've seen and the impact that we've seen from thinking about programs and education in a different way everything we've learned in the graduate space, we're now taking those learnings and applying them to the undergraduate space. And, you know, uh, our undergraduate education is known for excellence, right? And it has been around for a long time, right? While IMBA, we only launched in 2016, um, you know, undergraduate education has been the, at the core of who we've traditionally been in Geese, although that positively is changing now that we have as many online learners as we do undergrad and grad residential combined. And so who we are is different, but we're really excited right now. We're exploring changing the size of our residential population here on campus to be in line with that, again, mission of expanding access to education. We have an online business minor uh, that's growing very rapidly. In as of fall of 24, we were enrolling 2,400 learners, and that's in compared to 1,800 learners um, just 12 months ago. And so that's a big jump. We're considering whether, again, this idea of stackability, how we can break that minor down into smaller credential, which would allow us again to expand access. Perhaps an undergraduate learner isn't quite ready to pursue a full minor or doesn't have the capacity, but could 
pursue a CERT. And then our um, College of Language Arts and Sciences on campus is in the process of developing and launching a fully online bachelor's degree, and we're likely going to participate in that degree completion program. So just some great examples of expanding access. Um, the other thing I'll talk about is we do have a brand new building coming, and so you might you might think, well, Brooke, like, why are you telling us about a brand new building if we're thinking about pursuing online education? Well, uh, uh, Nerissa will tell you, one, you have many opportunities to come to campus, and so you might be able to see it, but the cool thing is, in the new building, there are seven brand new, um, high-quality, production and delivery studios. And so while Nerissa and I are delivering from one of our awesome studios in the business instructional facility, uh, we're so excited to be have this new space and to be able to build out space in a way uh, that will allow us to have capabilities that we just don't have in our current studio spaces, which are all either retrofitted classrooms, which is where we are now, or they're in uh, repurposed storage rooms in the basement of this building. And so you might not know it um, if we're delivering, but you know it's great to have, I think, something new where from the beginning we designed these spaces to be able uh, to ensure that we develop and deliver the highest quality education in these programs. And the cool thing about this building is that it will have some some really nice state of the art classrooms that can help us to grow um, or residential programs as well as or or undergraduate yeah. programs. So so really excited about um, that building coming on stream in 2025. So let me just quickly touch on engagement. Brooke, Brooke is going to cover um, a couple of things related to lifelong learning, and then we'll take some some questions. So when we started out this presentation, we talked about how experiences are core to what we do here at Geese. And here you just see a representation of several meetups that we've done over the past year. And this is where we bring geese to you. And this is where you get to interact with our staff members or our faculty. And whenever we travel, we always try to just make sure that we are engaging with, with learners and alumni in, in the cities that we, we are. So here we have um, meetups that were in India, China, um, Vancouver, as well as, as Philadelphia. Even though we are a fully online um, program with respect to our IMBA, we do make sure that we're offering the same experiences that you would get if you were in um, a fully residential um, program. So you do have the opportunities to go on um, on the ground immersions. We also make sure that you do have the opportunity to do immersions that are fully online because we know not everyone is able to take a trip across mm -hmm. the world to spend yeah. a week in a different location. But these experiences are what we would consider to be action learning. Um, you go on location and work with individuals at local businesses to solve real life world problems. And this is where you actually bring what you learn in a classroom to fruition in these locations. Another great experience that we have is every September, we have a huge event called iConverge. Um, it brings together over 500 learners and alumni from or I degree programs to campus to, again, learn from us. Um, in residence for a three-day weekend, as well as join a football game. Um, and I know sports is woven into a lot of what we do here um, in Geese Online and across all of our programs. So, Brooke, you want to talk about some of our big highlights? Yeah, I mean, we've had a, a lot of successes. Uh, you can see our alum, Nick Allegretti, who was actually an accountancy student, and Nerissa and I are accountancy faculty members. Um, I think he just won his third Super Bowl. Uh, we have an outstanding, we have outstanding revenue and non-revenue sports, and it, it just, it's great to see many of our online students, again, who have never set foot on campus, get so excited about Illinois' success. Um, and then whenever students are able to come on campus in the fall, uh, we provide access to a football game. And then in the winter, um, there actually is IGBA, which is the program student council. They actually organize a winter takeover uh, where students come and participate in a basketball game. So, you know, just because it is on campus doesn't mean it, it's not an exciting part of being, um, you know, in the geese community in these in these programs. 
the, the last thing that I'll touch on is just our commitment to lifelong learning. And so we talked about our stackable portfolio of offerings that were credit bearing, um, starting with the MOOC, which is non-credit bearing, uh, but we want to ensure that we're committing to provide value to our alums. And so as an alum, you can come back and enroll like in a single course or in a graduate certificate if you're interested in for credit learning or earning an additional credential. Uh, we also though have a lot of opportunities to engage with us outside of that. Um, right now we have a non-credit bearing offering called Skills Academies, which is really short form content where you can learn skills quickly. Uh, one is around business analytics as an example. Uh, it's some of the same faculty members that teach in our amazing iDegrees programs. Uh, we worked with Grow with Google to develop a cert that sits on the Coursera platform that's meant to serve uh, those. It serves those from uh, underrepresented areas, lower socioeconomic areas that are interested in pursuing first time um, or an entry level position. And so that's just an example of where we are continuing to create content to expand access to education. And then from an alumni perspective, one thing that I have wanted to talk about is on the Coursera platform, in addition to hundreds of university partners, Coursera has a growing number of industry partners. And so some of the images are up here, Google, uh, Meta, Salesforce. And right now we're working with Coursera and the university through a contracting process to be able to bring uh, those industry certs to our learners, to our staff, to our faculty, and our alums. And so we're really excited and there'll be more to come and hopefully next year at our third annual um, <laughs> State of the Programs Address, uh, we'll be able to tell you some exciting news related to Career Academy. Okay, um, so we have a couple of statistics here with respect to, um, uh, you know, donation success. Um, so you can just look at these numbers, but I do want to make sure that we can take a few questions. Um, so Marcus, I'm going to turn it over to you to field some questions either from the chat um, or questions that were submitted to you ahead of time. And we'll do our best to answer them yep. in rapid fire. We will. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Brooke and Narissa. Uh, so you kind of touched on AI with uh, Robert Brunner's Aki 593 class. Um, Brooke, what is Geese doing broadly to ensure learners are knowledgeable about AI and its application in business and beyond? Yeah, po sure. Um, you know, all the way from the first class that our undergraduate students take. So they teach, a, they t take a course called uh, Business 101 and they're learning about AI and its applications in that course. Our faculty are very innovative. And so I've seen both in our residential and our online courses that faculty are integrating on AI either from, you know, what is AI and talking about different business applications to actually using AI technologies in the course like Robert Brunner's or from an assessment perspective. I know in one course, um, the learners actually had to use AI to respond to an essay question. And so they, they couldn't respond on their own. Um, and so I thought that was an interesting, you know, way to approach it. Our teaching and learning team is doing an amazing job of ensuring that our faculty understand um, AI and its uses from an educational perspective. And so we have a lot of different sessions. We have faculty who have embraced it early, sharing out those learnings. And so we're embracing it uh, full on, and I'm so excited about the possibilities. Awesome, thank and you. And one thing I'll just add on, one thing I'll just add on AI is that if you join our MBA program and you do that program foundations course that I mentioned, we actually will walk you through what are some acceptable uses of AI in, in our courses. And so it's a tool that as a learner, you should not be afraid of. Mm -hmm. um, and our instructors, as, as Brooke shared, yeah. really are embracing it and then giving you guidance on, on how to use the tool. And I just wanna continue with you, Narissa. Uh, so many of our alums are interested in continuing their business education and would love, to, love for Geese to establish a PhD or a DBA program. Does Geese have this in its future plans? It's a question that we routinely get um, with respect to, you know, thinking about that next credential. And it's a question that I actually love to get because it actually shows that if you've taken one of our degree programs, you've enjoyed learning with us to the point where you want to embark <laughs> yeah. on, a, on a PhD that's fully, fully online. Um, 
we continue to make sure that we direct our resources to um, to innovation with respect to the degree portfolio that we we, we have. Um, right now, we're actually in a very heavy like redevelopment process mm -hmm. in making sure that the courses that we developed in 2016 and 2017 all look brand new and, and, and shiny. And so we do have to balance um, where we spend our resources on. And so right now, we're very focused on making sure that the degree programs that we do offer continue to be of, of high quality. One thing about an online DBA or a PhD degree too, is that everybody has to write a dissertation. And for every dissertation, you have to have a faculty member assigned to you as an advisor, which is something that is very, um, investment intensive mm -hmm. from a faculty standpoint, from a faculty talent standpoint, to move into, to think about launching launching a DBA. And so that's something I think we're very hesitant to move, yep. move into. Um, we are continuing to assess and continue to discuss about launching um, new degree programs um, at the master's level. And so I think for our future, that's where, that's a path that we will continue on versus launching a PhD. Well, thank you, Brooke and Arissa, for this very informative uh, update on the state of programs and progress at Geese Online. Thank you to all of your attendees and registrants who provided great questions, and we hope you enjoy getting to know our leadership team a little bit during this hour. Um, if you have any questions uh, about Geese Online, you can please email us at geeseonline at illinois.edu. Uh, we are happy to connect with you to answer any questions that you may have. Um, have a great evening, afternoon, or morning, wherever you are located. Take care. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thanks for joining.